Benny's played safe. And this is one of the intricate game parts of the game, the strategies of the game, as we'll try to attempt to explain as time goes by. If Jose must hit this four ball, if he is not able to hit it, Danny will receive the ball in hand, the cue ball in hand. He can place it anywhere on the table. These type players, that once they get the cue ball in hand, they're virtually assured of winning the game. <laughs> Jose made a tremendous shot there. He had to keep. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's going to attempt to hit the four, which is this ball here, and play safe in this manner here. Okay, and he's played safe again. Now Danny must hit this ball. He's jacked up over the six ball, which is a very difficult shot. He's not able to put his hand clearly down on the table for a solid brace. Jose Garcia began uh, playing professionally at the age of 21. He has been playing as a pro for some 10 years, picked up the game at the age of 10 that he can hit this ball. He's going to try to attempt to play safe and bring the cue ball back down here. Oh, he pocketed the ball. It's a tremendous shot. Phil Stone along with Jack Johnston. Jack, what are, what are the dimensions of the tables used? Do they vary from tournament to tournament? Yes, these tables we play are on four and a half by nine Gandhi Big G's. Uh, most of the professional tournaments are all played on four and a half by nines. Uh, some of the tables vary between four and a half by nine to three by sevens. Jose just made a tremendous shot there, but he played himself self, self, safe. He's going to attempt to play safe here now. He's going to. He's going to attempt to nick this six ball and probably go up to the opposite end of the table with a cue ball and attempt to leave Danny safe. Okay, he's going to the back into the rail. Now, he has snookered Danny. Danny's going to have to kick at this ball. When you talk about the term snooker, what are you referring to? Well, he can't see the ball. It's, uh, it's a cliche that's used in this sport, whereas if you're unable to, to hit the ball, Players refer to it as snookering the six ball. Now there's a great view right now, the way that Danny Medina is looking at it. And he can attempt to either. He can either attempt to. He can attempt to nip this ball and bring his ball back up here, or in this case, he's kicking at the ball and attempting to nip it. Okay. He attempted to play safe. These kind of players, about the only place way for them to be safe is if they're sitting in the chair. Jose will probably run out from here. He's going to attempt to make the six and play position on the seven. He's, uh, he's gotten lucky here. He's played. He's left Danny safe. Jack, when you're talking about a top prize of $40,000, does that weigh heavily on the minds of the competitors? Most After all, certainly. it's the richest prize in the history of the sport. Most certainly. He's thinking about buying a new Mercedes right about now. <laughs> Danny's going to attempt to play safe here. He's going to just attempt to nip this six ball and place the cue ball behind the seven again, if possible, if he can even hit the ball. Danny's... Yeah, the concentration that these players have is unbelievable. They're so emotionless. It's like ice water is running for the, through his veins. Jose, he's just helpless. The only thing he can do is just sit there and wait for his turn. Danny Medina out of Brighton, Colorado began playing the sport of billiards at the age of 15. 
Okay. Uh, Dana's gotten very lucky here. He made somewhat of a bad shot. And the balls, the pool gods have rolled for a goal point. Now, Jose's got to attempt to play safe. There's no possible makeable shot here. Absolutely no shot at all at the number six ball. If Phil Danny has a tremendous problem here. This ball's gonna be very difficult to hit. Danny's probably gonna attempt to come down and kick off the back rail in order to hit this ball. Or he may come around to the back short rail and kick the six ball up here. This is a situation where Jose Garcia should run the table here, Jack. Yeah, Jose is a definite favorite in this, at this particular point. These players, they don't miss much. When they get an opportunity to run out, they run out. He's going to attempt to play position on the eight ball. Now watch the cue ball there. He's spinning it back, trying to position it, as Jack mentioned, over on that rail. To it died somewhat on him. Yes, it did. This is a very difficult shot he has to make here. He's got to cut this ball very thin. He missed it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Danny. These players, uh, the nerves are running a little frazzled on them. That $40,000 is uh, pretty much on their minds. No, we couldn't get it hey, out. Danny. Now, game one goes to Danny Medina. And this, the winner's round, the semifinals of the Resorts International Nine Ball Championships. We'll be back to Atlantic City, New Jersey for more in just a moment. This ESPN Sports Exclusive is brought to you locally by Island Water Sports. We own the beach. And by Rockburger. From the finest of the 50s to the latest of the 80s. If you've traveled around very much, you know there are unique items found only in the island. Well, now these items can be found at Island Water Sports. Revo sunglasses and all the surfing accessories. Surfboards by G-Force, low pressure systems, and Hawaiian design by the Willis Brothers. The latest surfwear by Quicksilver, Maui and Son, Body Glove, Mango and Locomotion. And for the ladies, Raisins, Expose, Catch It, and 96 Degrees. At Island Water Sports, one block north of Myrtle Square Mall. Special ESPN events are brought to you nightly by Island Water Sports, 2702 North Kings Highway, and by Rockburger, 1107 North Ocean Boulevard. 6,000. The most exciting and controversial NASCAR season ever. ESPN Speed Week highlights the first half of this record-breaking year, right after Drag Racing's Northern Nationals, Saturday on ESPN. Atlantic City, New Jersey. We are at Resorts International for the Nine Ball Championships. Walk 
rocking with the queen. Who in the world will host of London? I saw a long chain of you walking with the queen. Tom Cruise and Paul Newman in a scene from The Color of Money and Jack Johnston looked no further than that motion picture to tell you why you had more than 400 people entered in this third annual Resorts International Nine Ball Championship. Yeah, it's really made it hot. I mean, the audiences this week have been unbelievable. This is game two of the winner's round semifinals. Danny remember, Medina with the break. Remember, Danny Medina possesses the most powerful break in nine ball today. It's almost like he's shattering the balls. How often, Jack, do you see the nine ball go on a break? The nine ball, it's, it happens, it happens, but it's not as frequently as most people think. The nine ball, the trick of the game is you're gonna have to play position to run out, and you wanna get position to play well, so he we left can himself, pocket the one, correct. Left himself with some problems, didn't he, with that cue ball? It's not where he wanted to leave I, it. If it was in the back part of the table, then he would have a very easy shot, but now he's allowed the, the ball go, to go down to it the opposite end of the table. Very good shot. Oh, what a great shot. Tremendous shot. He showed himself up here. He's looking to pocket the two and stay down and play position on the three. Which he's going to kill his ball here. He's going to spin his ball and he's going to kind of like draw it. He played safe. Well, he left Jose Garcia with a very difficult shot. He's going to have a very diff difficult time pocketing this ball. He's going to have to kick off the back rail and attempt to play safe. Anytime you have to go to a rail to hit a ball, chances become very slim. I think he scrolls up to this four ball. He's just not trying to hit this ball. He's trying to play safe. He's trying to attempt a manner where he can hit the three ball and leave Danny without much of a shot, if any shot at all. Now he's using a mechanical bridge. Yes. He's hit the ball. He's made a legal hit. haven't shined on him too well. Danny's got a pretty clear shot at the three ball. And bear in mind, it's just not pocketing the three ball. He's got he's to position himself where he can run out. So therefore, he's got to be planning and play attention on the three. Oh, he got lucky there. He kissed it off the eight. You see, Phil? Oh, I look at that shot at the four right in front of the pocket. Now he's got to get position on the five ball. He's going to have to draw back and attempt to pocket the, the five ball play position. He'll probably shoot it in the long corner. We'll be back with more from Atlantic City in just a moment. Man has always been fascinated with speed. But winning is more than a quest for speed. It's a measure of skill test of guts. And though NASCAR has changed through the decades, its spirit never will. It's not just the machine. It's the man who drives it. We're proud to be a part of this great sport. Bush, the official beer of NASCAR. Super spy, super suave, super sexy, says Judith Christ of WWOR-TV. Fireball! 
James Bond is back to perfection. You jeopardize the entire mission to avoid shooting a beautiful girl. Believe me, my interest in her is purely professional. Michael Medvedev's new previews calls it the most spectacular Bond film of all. The Living Daylights, rated PG. Now playing. Check newspapers for a theater near you. One way to find a job is to look in publications. Lots of publications. Any luck? Well, I've got newspapers, magazines, trade papers. Find anything yet? Newsletters, phone books, you name it. There's a better way to find a better job. Honey, look at this. The National Business Employment Weekly. It's published by the Wall Street Journal. It lists hundreds of high-paying jobs all across the country. Now, what about managerial jobs? Managerial, professional, technical sales like mine. It even has articles on interviewing, writing a better resume, and how to succeed once you get the job. What am I doing with all of these now that I have the National Business Employment Weekly? Pick up the National Business Employment Weekly at a newsstand or call 800-372-3000 and receive eight issues by first-class mail for only $35. 800-372-3000. The National Business Employment Weekly. Don't make a career move without it. It's playing position for the long corner. There again, now, he's, he, has, he can play safe here and try to freeze the cue ball behind him. That's what he's done. But this is one of the strategies of the championship players. The average player would just attempt to whack the ball in and wind up losing. Mostly these players, they look to duck and play position and duck in order to get something that gives a better opportunity to run out at a later time. Now, jose has got to kick at this ball. He's going to be kicking two rails off the long rail to the short rail. And he's made another leg with this man. He hits everything. He's gotten pretty lucky here, too. He's so, so Danny up behind the nine ball. And Danny's going to have to kick. Like in all games, it's, there's a certain element of luck in nine ball. And Danny's going to have to try to duck here. And Danny's massing the ball around the nine now. He's going to attempt to try to massay the ball around the nine. When you talk about massing, what are you what are you actually talking about? He's going to try to spin the ball. He's going to try to spin it, make it curve, and try to hit it. Okay, he's going to he's jacking up on the ball in order to put some spin on the ball. Oh, made a, a legal hit there. What a shot! And he's played pretty lucky too. He's he's left a very difficult shot for Jose. One, if he makes the ball, it's going to be very difficult for him to keep position on the six ball. And watch his body is perfectly still. Some of the job. If he mishit the ball. Yeah, I think he miscued there, Phil. That camera is right on you, you know. You'll notice here that these these players, their bodies similar to golf. They don't. There's not much sway motion or jumping motion when they're when they're playing. And he's got this great shot. Swing it. He's got a very difficult shot here. So he's, he may even have to nip the ball and play safe. Sometimes close is not good. You can get too close to these balls and not be able to make them. Boom, what a shot. Oh, he's played unlucky here. He's made two balls at once, but he's left himself a very difficult shot on the eight ball. He's going to look to nip this ball, probably play safe. The nine ball's got him where he can't bank the ball in this pocket he's looking into. He's not going to be able to make it up there. This takes a tremendous touch to nip these balls and move these balls around. The one element of competitive billiards, which oftentimes is overlooked, is the defensive side of the game. Yeah, he's going to look to nip this ball. Looks like he's shooting at it. Oh, he shot at it. 
That is what is known as the best safety in the world. Your opponent's still sitting in the chair. And he's still got a very difficult shot here. You understand, this is for $40,000. And this game, this ball could be worth $40,000. Really got a free stroke. Boom. Oh my gosh. He left the table wide open for Jose Garcia. And yeah. Danny Medina is feeling it as he sits down. Yeah, he just won't hit up, walk up and hit this ball. He'll take his time and make sure that he gets this ball in the hole, even though it's crazy. That was a hell of a shot on that eight ball. Jose Garcia. Huh? After an error on the part of Danny Medina has drawn this match even. We are tied here in the third annual Resorts International Nine Ball Championships. It is the winner's round semifinal. And with that shot, Garcia has drawn into a 1-1 tie with Danny Medina. The upset of the week is brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. For most common stomach discomforts, the one that coats is the only one you need. Monday night in Anaheim, Minnesota Twins pitcher Joe Necro's glove is examined by the umpire. The knuckleball specialist was then asked to empty his pockets. When he did, an emery board flew from his hand and landed on the ground. Necro was immediately ejected for defacing the ball. Joe Necro, the first pitcher since 1982, suspended for doctoring a baseball. The Pepto-Bismol upset of the week. I'm home. Hi, Mom. Is your brother home yet? He's upstairs. He says he feels pukey. Bobby? He ate a bunch of junk after school. That kid eats like a maniac. Mom, I feel pukey. I've got just what you need. Here it comes, the soothing relief of Pepto-Bismol. The one that coats is the only one you need. Feeling better? What time is dinner? <sighs> maniac. This is where champions begin. Ladies and gentlemen. Mike Tyson. Terrence Ali, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, superstars who forge steel nerves and iron punches on ESPN's top-ranked boxing. Watch live Tuesday night fights. Top-ranked boxing puts you in the ring where champions are made on ESPN. at Resorts International as we rejoin action in this match between Danny Medina and Jose Garcia. Welcome back to Resorts International, everybody. I'm Phil Stone, along with Jack Johnston. It's the winner's semifinal round. Danny Medina and Jose Garcia tied at six. Garcia is on the table and a good break. Yeah, Danny. Danny's just sitting there watching. Jose made the two ball in the corner pocket. The, the balls are laying well now, Phil. Garcia has yet to run a full table, but is in excellent position to do it here. No, he's got a real good chance here, and I tell you, the momentum seems like it wants to creep toward Jose. For the pool god seem to be signing on, siding on him right now. He's got a little small problem here. The four ball's a little tied up between the seven and the nine. When these balls get tight together, there's not much room for error. He's gonna just follow the ball forward and kind of he's gonna have to shoot a combination here. He's gonna look to make the nine ball now. Oh, oh this is a good shot. shot. Here's one of the few combinations we have seen. Yeah, this is not a given though. These 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 combinations, uh, the players don't really they would rather not play them. They'd rather just run out. This is a good shot. He's got a good angle on the ball. Good shot. And the nine is down. End of game, and it is Garcia for the first time in this match with a lead. I'd say Jose's a very big favorite in this match now. With a one-game lead and breaking the balls. Okay, he's going to make the... He needs to hit this two ball and make the nine in the corner. Okay. It's a good it. shot. So it is Garcia with a seven to six lead over Danny Medina and Garcia with the break. Jose is a definite favorite here. Oh, he's made it on the break. He's made it on the break. Nine ball is down. 
And suddenly, Jose Garcia is one game away. Hmm. Talking to that before oh, yeah. our telecast. Here's the nine ball going right in the pocket. It's a great shot. Hmm. Now, Jose is playing. This is for the game. This is for the match. Danny Medina, who can't yeah. believe the turn of events here. Yeah, he's very defenseless there sitting. Jose's made the one, but he's left himself. Uh, he's snookered behind the eight ball. He's not. He's literally snookered behind the eight ball here. He's going to have to kick at this ball. He not only got the one to fall, but the three is also down. Yeah. He's going to. By Danny Medina, who at one point in this match led 5 2. Yeah, he's fought back. And he's not going to give it up. These players are not going to get up, up. Danny's not going to give it up either. He's massing this ball around the eight ball, Phil, here. Oh, he's missed it. Danny will take take the cue ball in his hand. Yeah, why? A foul was called by the referee. Right, one foul. You must hit the Vodjik ball and drive it to a rail. Okay, he's massing the cue ball around the ball here, Phil. This ball actually left the table. Yeah, Danny's a definite favorite here. Now the, now the momentum's changed the other side. These kind of players, the shooter's the favorite at this point. Okay, now he's got to play position on the sixth ball here. He's got somewhat of a little bit of a problem. He's got to move his cue ball back to the other end of the table. He's got to pocket the six and then move the cue ball back up past the side pocket to give himself a good, nice angle for the eight ball. It's very good. Uh, Danny should be have no problem from this point. He's just going to follow his ball forward and come off the back rail. Okay, he's going to shoot stop here, shoot and stop. All he has to do is shoot and stop here. He should be able to pocket this nine with no problem. And if Jose Garcia is to win this winner's round semifinal, that victory will have to wait for Danny Medina of Colorado has now creeped back to within one. It is Garcia eight, Madea seven. Yeah. What a match. This match now is tied up. The breaker is a, has a definite advantage here. Now we are coming to you from Resorts International in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The nine ball championships are underway. Along with Jack Johnston, I'm Phil Stone. We invite you to join us when we return in just a moment. I've been looking all over for this terrific video cassette I heard about. It's called Not So Great Moments in Sports. It, like one scene is where Billy Martin tries to give an ump a shoe shine. That's a fantastic video. My favorite part is where John McEnroe plays tennis with his orange juice. I hear there's a scene where Reggie Jackson protests a Gaylord Perry spitball with a visual aid. Yeah. I love it where a kicker tries to play quarterback. Not So Great Moments is 45 minutes of the funniest sports footage I've ever seen. Great. So you have it. No. It's not in video stores yet. Now what do I do? You get it free. Let me understand. You don't have the video, but you're going to tell me how to get it free. Right. Am I missing something? You're missing out on Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated? I love SI. What does Sports Illustrated have to do with it? You get not so great moments in sports free with your paid subscription. Oh, I let my subscription run out. Well, now is a perfect time to go for it again. You get 25 weeks of America's best sports coverage, including the Pro Football Spectacular with all the picks, previews, and profiles, and the beautiful swimsuit issue. I like that. Everybody likes that. You even get a handy NFL schedule. And not-so-great moments in sports? You get it all. I do. How? Just call Sports Illustrated's toll-free number. Wait a minute. All that great footage has got to be worth a fortune. I ought to know. 
Yeah, I'll bet they raised the price of the magazine, right? Uh-uh. It's over 47% off the cover price. Just three installments of $9.89 each. You can even put it on a credit card. No kidding, I get 25 weeks of SI, including the Pro Football Spectacular, the football schedule, the swimsuit issue, and the video cassette free? You get it all. Just call 1-800-621-7000. I gotta get to a phone. What's that number again? Here. 1-800-621-7000. Hi, have you heard of not-so-great moments in sports? <laughs> okay, Bill, Danny's definitely the favorite now. The breaker here, this is for all the money. We have an 8-8 tie and a race tonight. Medina unable to put a ball down on the break. There's your score, Garcia, by one. Or the right to. Yeah, Garcia's got a little bit of a tough shot here. Here again, it's not just to, to make the one ball. He's got to get himself in line where he can make the two. Winner of this match will take on the winner of the Jose Parica, Nick Varner match. Yeah, Jose Parica is probably the best player in the world today. He's from the Philippines. The last two years, he's been really causing some havoc in the pool world. So Garcia surveying the table as Medina looks on from his chair. We take a look at the concentration in the eyes of Jose Garcia. Now, Jose's got a, he's got a couple of possibilities there. He can look to duck. Wait, is he? he has a tendency to look to play a little more safe than uh, Danny does, but Danny's just always freewheeling and just pumping away. I tell you, I don't even know whether he can play safe here. He's a couple of alternatives. He can try to duck behind the eight ball and put the one at the other end of the table down by the nine. Side pocket corner pocket, pardon me, and won't fall. And Danny's. Yeah, this. Yeah, he. Jose shot this ball. This ball should have fell, man. It just, just hit the lip and just stayed there. Just stood up there. I guarantee you one thing: it'll fall for. Yeah, it's gonna Adina. fall now. <laughs> Danny's. Danny's gonna look to get out from here. He's. Thinking about tying this match up. Now there he's got to get he's got to get in line for this three ball because the four is laying right up against the rail. The four is a tough shot here. Four is his problem if you notice he's looking at it now because it's right on the right on the nipple. He's going to have to maneuver around this. I'm going to try to try to keep the cue ball kind of close to the rail so he can get close into the rail so he can shoot the four in the opposite corner. It's a good shot. It's kind of like about a half a pocket here he's got to shoot this ball in. For me, I'd like to shoot this three ball in the long corner, Phil, and break the four away from the rail. Hey. Yeah, he may he may look to shoot this three in the in the corner pocket and break and break the four off. The four will break off here. He didn't want that four ball frozen on that rail. No, he's gonna try to move it off the rail or he's gonna attempt to try to move it off the rail. What's his other alternative, Jack, to just to knock that three ball in the corner he, pocket? He, no, he can shoot the three in the side there and just kind of drift up to the back rail, but then he's got himself no shot. He's gonna have to try to get this ball off the rail. He's gonna have to try to get the four off the rail. He's gonna break this ball away. I'm surprised that he's taking so much time with his free wheel and stroke. He's just gonna fire it. He's gonna break this ball off the rail. There we go. 
Oh, he good shot, secured good it shot. to perfection, but did he leave the four too close to the eight oh, he's, now? He's all right now. See, see, he shot the three in the corner pocket, and he broke the four, four off the rail. So he had to get this ball off the rail. Now he's in good shape now. He'll shoot the four in the corner and just the position for the five. He should be out here. He shouldn't have any problems from here. Hold the ball over by the side. Good shot. He's out. It is the richest nine ball championship ever. And we'll be back to bring you more. Stay with us. This ESPN Sports Exclusive is brought to you locally by... Rockburger, from the finest of the 50s to the latest of the 80s. And by Island Water Sports. We own the beach. Hey, guys and gals, get ready for a blast from the past with the hottest sock hop club on the beach. It's Rock Bugger, right on Ocean Boulevard. Hey, you can't miss it, where the world's largest jukebox located right now on the sidewalk. Inside, enjoy memorabilia, the finest of the 50s, the latest of the 80s, and the best-made hamburgers on the planet with 100% beef and TLC. That's the hot music and cool DJs. Rock Bugger, 1107 North Ocean Boulevard. Special ESPN events are brought to you nightly by Rockburger, 1107 North Ocean Boulevard, and by Island Water Sports, 2702 North Kings Highway. Tropical Mondays are made for Surfer Magazine. Catch a wave with ESPN from Malibu, California to Melbourne, Australia. Around the world with Surfer Magazine. Monday nights at 9 Eastern, only on ESPN. Would you rather have a bit of an angle? Oh yeah, you want a little bit of an angle so you can move the ball around and take use of the of the of the rails rather than cheating the pockets, trying to cut the pocket sizes now. Of course, for the beginning pool player, I know uh, when I was learning this game, I couldn't wait to get a head-on shot. He's going to have to duck around this nine ball here. He's, he's going to have to pull this ball around the nine. It's a good shot. Oh, and he did just that. He's going to wind up. He'll probably go up to the side. He'll probably shoot this eight ball in a side pocket. Although a lot of these players don't like this cue ball to move around as much as he's going to have to. He's going to pull it up to the other end of the table. That way, once he makes the, if he sinks, he's able to shoot the eight ball in a side pocket, which looks like that's what he's trying to do. Just have to drift down. Okay, he's going to go. He's going to go three rails with this cue ball. Now watch this. He's going to go shoot the eight in the side pocket. He's going to go three rails to get all the way back to the other end of the table. Eight One, ball down. Two, One, two, you're right. Three. It's a good shot. And we are tied at eight. It has come down to a one-game match between Garcia and Medina. It was that man right there who took the 5-2 lead from the get-go. Jose Garcia came back to make it 8-6. And now Medina, with victories in the last two games, has drawn the match even. Will return to Resorts International in Atlantic City in just a moment. We're serving up a lazy day, lounge around summer with a sizzle that'll melt the cheese. McDonald's. Serving up the sun on a sesame seed bun, leaning back on with the breeze. Some summertime. Slowing down, feeling so fine. Sipping up some, some summertime. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Don't just ask for a light beer. Give me a light. Ask them to bring out their best. Bud Light. Bud Light. The less filling light beer with the first name and taste. Because everything else... Ah, the dining car. It's just the light. Why do you invest with Charles Schwab, America's largest discount broker? I've been investing with Schwab for over four years. I save on commissions, and I like the fast service. Schwab is quick and courteous. I like the service and the savings.
In the last three years, I've saved enough on commissions through Schwab to buy my granddaughter a hundred shares of stock. At Schwab, there's never any sales pressure. I make the decision, Schwab makes the trade. I cut my commission costs in half, period. At Schwab, they keep my investment costs down. I mean, way down. I invite you to find out more about Schwab today. We drive down commission costs for the independent investor, and we do it with a level of service that you'll really appreciate. For your free Schwab booklet, call toll-free 800-221-5700. That's 800-221-5700. Call Schwab now. The season premiere of the Breeders' Crown, Harness Racing's championship series featuring America's best trotters and pacers. Exclusive season-long coverage begins live Friday night at 11 Eastern, only on ESPN. Now take a look at the crowd here. Resorts International is the place to be. Danny Medina and Jose Garcia. It is the winner's round semifinal. First player to nine games wins it. We are tied at eight. And Medina in the driver's seat as he will break. And he will break them. He will shatter these balls. This ball is going to jump. It's going to take his time here. And he's not going to make. He didn't make anything on the break, Phil. But he has left Garcia with a very difficult shot with the one ball lying up against the rail at his end of the table. He's got a good angle on this ball. He's going to look to bank it back in the corner right beside him. And he's going to, if he banks it naturally, he's going to get a little bit of, he's going to have a real nice position on the two ball. This cue ball is kind of somewhat hung up in the pocket. He's going to try to make the one in the sink pocket these cue balls in. Yeah, the one ball is the upper left hand side of your screen, right where Jose was reaching a moment ago. Yeah, the naturally, the cue ball is going to float down about to the middle of the table for the two ball. If he hits the one here. He didn't get it. Uh, it's all right. He, that's what he's kind of known on the scene. You've got a makeable duck shot there. you got two shots going for you where you can duck and actually have an opportunity to make the ball themselves. This ball is frozen to the rail. This is one of the shots that the players really don't like to try to execute. Looks like Danny's looking to. Usually, most players would look to play safe right now. Just kill that cue ball on, on the back rail and just put the one to the opposite end of the table. It's going to take his time here. Phil, I'd hate to be in this position. Yeah, he's going to. He has a chance here, Phil, to nip this ball. He just he can nip it on either side and bring it back down here like this. Or he can just kill the cue ball here and bring the one down here. Bring the one down to the other table. All of which are very, very difficult shots. It's going to be... These players, they all have a lot of... Well, these players have a lot of trick shots in their bags, but they, they feel comfortable. <coughs> Problem with this, this shot could be worth forty thousand dollars. He's just gonna look and looks like he's looking to nip the ball. Well, well he went for it as he has this entire match as Jack Johnston has said several times he's the kind of player, Danny Medina, that just reloads and fires again. Yeah, he just fired there. Yeah. That's been a crack in the match. Yeah, he has left surprising. a very interesting table for Jose Garcia. It's very surprising. It looks like he's very comfortable with that shot, though. Although, I don't know. There's a problem here, Phil. This three balls are not laying in what you call an ideal situation because of the four ball. Takes the two and the eight with it. Yeah, but now the tables are turned because of the eight going into the side pocket. The three's freed up. This is the key shot for this match here, Phil. If this ball goes in the hole, Mr. Jose is going to win this match. Crowd here at Resorts International begins to buzz, sensing victory for Jose Garcia. 
Yeah, Jose should be able to get out from here without too much trouble. What he's gonna do is gonna like shoot and stop from this point. Prior to the semifinal round, Jack, this was a double elimination tournament. Neither Garcia nor Medina have lost, but when you reach the semifinal round, one loss, and it is uh, sayonara. One loss, and you're out. These people, these two players have went through almost 350 players to get to where they've had without a loss. Well, Medina, sensing the inevitable now, is sitting and watching Garcia. This local crowd is going to go crazy in here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold everything. Wait a minute. He has to watch out for the side pocket here. He's left himself. He has left himself not an ideal situation. He's got to jack up, kind of lift up to draw this ball away from the side pocket. And he did it. He did it. And the crowd is going crazy. It is Jose Garcia who has worked his way out of the winner's round semifinal. That is Mr. Weenie Beanie, Billy Staten, congratulating the players. That man right there, down early in the match, five to two. Not at all at six apiece. Took an eight to six lead before Medina fought back to tie it at eight. And after an unforced error on the part of Danny Medina, it gave Garcia the table and ultimately the victory. It is Jose Garcia, the pride and joy of Vineland, New Jersey, the victor here in the winner's round semifinal. We'll be back to Resorts International in just a moment. All good horse traders know horses. The best ones know cowboys, too. It needs a little work, but the price is fair. Atlantic City, New Jersey, ESPN, your total sports network, presents the third annual Resorts International Nine Ball Championship. It is the richest tournament in the history of professional pool. 356 players are after a top prize of $40,000. Hello, everybody. I'm Phil Stone, along with Jack Johnston. Jack, a man who, during his illustrious career, has knocked off just about everybody in this field. And today, Jack, you've got Denver Danny Medina going up against Mike Siegel. What do you know about Medina? He is a tough young player. Phil, he possesses the most powerful nine ball break there is to date. He has a, has a reputation of being just a freewheeling, straight shooting nine ball player. And how about Mike Siegel? Mike Siegel was Paul Neiman's coach in the, the color of money. And he's also considered the best left-handed nine ball player in the world, with the exception of you, Phil. <laughs> Jack, one of the most important shots in this game, obviously, is the break. Is it possible to sink the nine ball on a break? Yes. Have you ever done it? Yes. Can you do it for us? It's my pleasure. Jack trying to get that nine ball roll in. Close break. Look at it going. Oh, no. Can this ball go? No, no, no. I can't believe it. Nothing to it. I don't believe it. A nine ball in the corner pocket off the break. We'll be back in a moment to Resorts International to see if Mike Siegel and Danny Medina can do just that. We'll be back in just a moment. This ESPN event is being brought to you by Bush Beer, the beer with a taste as smooth as its name. Don't win nothing for practice. Don't win nothing if you don't. All right, let's have it. After a long day of hard knocks. That's right. Yeah. Head for the beer that goes down smooth as a mountain stream. Boy. Here. This one don't bucks so hard. Head for the mountains of Bush Beer. The upset of the week is brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. For most common stomach discomforts, the one that coats is the only one you need. Milwaukee's Paul Molitor recently found some unique ways to keep his consecutive hitting streak going. Against the Orioles in Baltimore, Molitor went into his final at bat before homering off Tom Niedenfuhr to keep the streak alive at 28. In that same series, this bloop single was Molly's only hit as he stretched the streak to 30. Paul Molitor's assault on baseball's record books, the Pepto-Bismol upset of the week. I'm home. 
Hi, Mom. Is your brother home yet? He's upstairs. He says he feels pukey. Bobby? He ate a bunch of junk after school. The kid eats like a maniac. Mom, I feel pukey. I've got just what you need. Here it comes, the soothing relief of Pepto-Bismol. The one that coats is the only one you need. Feeling better? What time is dinner? Oh, maniac. We are in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the third annual Resorts International Nine Ball Championships. Well, this is the elimination round semifinal match between Mike Siegel out of Towson, Maryland. He'll be opposed by Danny Medina from Brighton, Colorado. A capacity crowd is on hand here in the Cotillion Ballroom at Resorts International. The showplace like no place. Yeah, when you talk about the Cotillion Ballroom at Resorts International, it is a room that has played host to Luciano Pavarotti, Julio Iglesias, to name just a couple. Well, the rules here for the nine ball championship, you've got to get that nine ball in some pocket. But before you can do that, you've got to be shooting at the lowest numbered ball on the table. Player shoots until he or she misses. The game is over naturally when that nine ball goes down. And if at any time a player fouls, he immediately loses his turn. First player to win nine games wins the match. It is Mike Siegel in the foreground. Danny Medina is partially hidden. At the bottom of your screen, it is Siegel, as they will lag for the right to break. Ball that comes closest to that end rail will lag, and it is going to be Medina who will have the break here in game number one. Medina lost earlier in this tournament. Is this it, I think? Check it. Yeah, I think so. Jose Garcia. And Medina will try and win this match to stay alive in the chase for the top prize of $40,000. I'm Phil Stone, along with Jack Johnson. And Jack, Warrior it is time. the richest tournament in the history of pocket billiards. $40,000 first prize. It's the largest cash prize that's ever been in a pool tournament. I might add, we've drawn the, the largest crowds that have ever been spectator crowds ever been for a pool tournament also Phil. Now when you talk about Danny Medina you're talking about a man Jack who explodes the balls on the break. He has the best break in pool today. But you, this, these balls are actually going to leave the table. Now Nick Barner was telling me earlier in this tournament that this table is a very slow table compared to the other tables that were used earlier in this tournament. What's he talking about? Well, the cloth is brand new, so therefore it's, it's a new cloth. And there's a lot of friction between the ball and the cloth because so much snap on the cloth. And it causes the balls to move slowly. It takes more of a powerful stroke to move the cue ball around the table in order to play position. It's, and the balls don't fly around the table on the break, and they just don't fly in. This creates slower play all around. Mike Siegel's got a, a relatively difficult layout here. One of, my, one of the Mike's problems is this four eight connection here. These balls are tied up, which creates tremendous difficulty in running out. He's trying to shoot the two ball in the corner pocket right now. In the side pocket, excuse me. Well, he didn't make the shot, but he left Danny Medina with a very, very difficult shot. It, Mike's trying to cut the ball into the side pocket. He just barely misses off the lip. Okay, Danny's got to kick at this ball. Remember, if he does not hit the ball and make good contact, he must be able to nip this ball just a little bit here. If he doesn't make contact with the ball and drive, drive a ball to the rail, Mike will receive the cue ball in hand. He can place it anywhere on the table. He's going to size it up. It doesn't seem like he can 
hit this ball. He's going to have to like try to attempt to hit, kick at this ball two rails. Medina, 35 years of age from Brighton, Colorado. Okay, he's kicking at this ball two rails and trying to sneak in behind us. It's a good shot. Come on, baby. It's a good shot. Oh, is oh. that a beautiful shot? He could not have done it better. No, he snuck at Mike Siegel behind the three ball. Jack talking about snookering Siegel. By that he means he did not leave Siegel with a shot at the object ball. The object ball being the ball with the lowest number currently on the table, that being the two. But the problem for Siegel is he is buried behind that bright red ball in the foreground. Okay, he's going to kick behind the three ball and try to make a good solid hit on this two ball. Oh, and he flirts with dumping the nine ball in that nice side way to pocket. Start. Yeah, he's, he's left Danny with a very difficult... Okay, Mike's trying to hit behind, his, behind the three ball in order to make the two. He's made a very good solid hit here. Almost makes the nine here. Very long straight shot for Danny. He just drilled it right on in. He's still got to contend with a four eight ball combination here, Phil. Danny's going to attempt to make the four eight combination. Back in 1984, it was this man on the table now who ran away with the Las Vegas Open Corner Pockets Championship. Same year, he won the McDermott Masters. Correction, he finished second in the McDermott Masters. There's a combination, the eight ball diving into the corner pocket. And his most current victory came this past year at the Disneyland Mixed Nine Ball Open. Danny's a very seasoned veteran player, even though he's, he's a very young man. He's, he's been at this quite a few years. Let this ball get a little bit too straight. It's going to pull back a little bit to the center of the table so you can shoot the six in the corner and play position on the seven. These players are always playing two or three balls in advance here. Oh, he's got a, he's got a real problem here. He's got allowed this ball to get too straight in. What do you mean when you say playing the next two or three balls in advance? Well, they must know where they're going to be going two or three balls down the road to successfully clean the table to run completely out. Now he's what he's done. He's allowed himself to get too straight in on the six, too easier shot. And he doesn't have an angle to be able to get to the other side of the table where the seven is laying up against the rail. He's going to have to. He's got to pull this ball straight back. He's going to have to pull this ball straight back. One of the big problems here, the seven ball is really frozen to the rail, which makes it quite difficult to go through this. He's going to be following this ball here. He's going to follow this ball and try to come out of there two rails. Ball is this cue ball. He's too straight in. He's got to force this ball. He's trying to shoot this ball into like a quarter of the pockets that are directly into the center of the pocket to create an angle. Okay, Mike's got to kind of bring his ball up and around the nine. Mike hasn't made a very good shot here. This is a very difficult shot Mike's left himself. When these balls are this close to this seven ball, so close to the rail, they have a tendency to catch the, the lip of the side pocket as they run up the rail. The lip actually, oh, it's a great shot, great shot. Mike Siegel taking advantage of a mistake on the part of Danny Medina has walked away with game one of this elimination round semifinal from Resorts International.
This ESPN Sports Exclusive is brought to you locally by Island Water Sports. We own the beach. And by Rockburger. From the finest of the 50s to the latest of the 80s. If you've traveled around very much, you know there are unique items found only in the island. Well, now these items can be found at Island Water Sports. Revo sunglasses and all the surfing accessories. Surfboards by G-Force, low pressure systems, and Hawaiian design by the Willis Brothers. The latest surfwear by Quicksilver, Maui and Son, Body Glove, Mango and Locomotion. And for the ladies, Raisins, Expose, Catch It, and 96 Degrees. At Island Water Sports, one block north of Myrtle Square Mall. Special ESPN events are brought to you nightly by Island Water Sports, 2702 North Kings Highway, and by Rockburger, 1107 North Ocean Boulevard. Wednesday, bowling great Dick Weber completes one of his most successful seasons ever on the PBA Tour. See him in the Seniors Championship, live Wednesday night at 9 Eastern, only on ESPN. In this elimination round semifinal action, Siegel out in front of Danny Medina by a count of 1 nothing, and it is Mike Siegel who has control here of the break in game two. Okay, Phil, he's going to have to make sure that he keeps his ball in the center of the table. Now remember, he's got to try to keep this ball, cue ball, in the center of the table. He doesn't want to give uh, his opponent a cue ball in hand. Open for Medina. Yeah, Danny, these balls are laying good for Danny. <laughs> Siegel, as he approached his seat on that break, had his palms outstretched as if to say, I can't break him any better than that. No, the ball scattered real well, just nothing fell in the hole. He has a problem here. Danny has a problem. It's 2 6. The two balls down at the opposite end of the table. He doesn't really have much of an angle to pull this ball back. He's going to look to follow his ball down and around two rails. This, pay, this table is playing real tough. These pockets are really tight. A lot of these balls are jumping right out on us. That's Jeannie Belucas there, Phil. She's the greatest player, woman player that's ever lived. Hmm. All her list of accomplishments would take hours and hours to document. She's won every female tournament that's ever been held in the last 10 years. sewed up behind his five ball. Huh? Now that flapping in the wind you heard was uh, the exasperation of uh, Mike Siegel. Hey, Danny's going to try to jump over this five ball. He's actually going to jump completely over this five ball in order to pocket the one. It's a great Nailed shot. It. And scratched yeah. in the process. How are they rolling? He made a great shot. Unfortunately, he was not rewarded. Just give it. Hey, he's look. He's look. Danny's. Danny's looking to jump this ball here, in order to pocket the one. He's going to look to jump completely over the five ball. See the ball just completely leave the table, Phil. Siegel sneaks the two ball into the corner and in the process leaves himself with a nice run at number three ball. The ball's are laying real good for Siegel right now. Sort of partial to Mike Siegel, Jack, in that he, like myself, is a southpaw. Yeah, he's, he's one of the, he's probably, not probably, he is the best left-handed player in the world today. You haven't seen me play. 
Well, that's true. Maybe I'll get an opportunity before this is over. <laughs> well, he may have... Am I snuckered? He may have snuckered himself here. That's what he said to himself as he walked around. He said, am I snuckered? Must not be. Looks like he hit the ball. Good shot. Watch shot. out. Watch out. This Can't. ball's rolling. Scratch this out. ball's rolling. If they could reach. Oh, God. Ah. This is a very difficult shot. Anytime you get real close to this rail where you can't hit the full cue ball, it causes tremendous problems. It's a good shot. He still left himself tough. Now he's got the eight ball kissed up against that end rail. Yeah, he's going to have to whack at this ball. This ball's going to run up and down. The, oh, he's going to shoot right-handed now, Phil. He's switch hitting for us. Oh, what a shot. It's a great shot. That's unbelievable, huh? Siegel to take a 2 nothing lead. It's a good shot. The whales, the whales are like boiling this on the clock. Yeah. A little bit, that looked like it. Now Siegel is out quickly to a 2 to nothing lead over Danny Medina. We'll be back to Resorts International with more nine ball championship pool in just a moment. Leaning back on with the breeze. Some summertime. Slowing down, feeling so fine. Sipping up some, some summertime. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. It was so simple. Really, a direct electrical charge here heats up the carbonized filament here, which in turn excites the gases trapped in here, and voila. Well, it's very nice, Thomas, but I wanted a Bud Light. If you want the great taste of Bud Light, ask for it. Don't feel bad, Thomas, it's not a complete loss. Bud Light, because everything else is just a light. Welcome back to resorts in Atlantic City. It is the richest nine ball championship ever. Let's rejoin this match. It is Mike Siegel holding a five games to four lead over Danny Medina. It's a good shot. Danny's made a good shot here. Here, I think he's actually gotten too close to this ball, Phil. Can he shave it into that side pocket? I think he can, but the trouble is he's going to have to turn this, turn his cue ball loose, which he doesn't really want to do. He may wind up going into this eight or nine here. He's really going to have to cut this ball real thin. He's got room. He can cut it in and just eight ball also went. He got a little, he got a little lucky there. The players don't like to go into other balls with the cue balls because you don't really know where you're going to be hitting this ball. So he's got to hit this ball way for thin and just goes right into the hole. Now he's looking to run the three up into the corner and successfully negotiates it. Then he's got a tough shot here because he's got to hit this ball and he's got to get it out close to the center of the table so he can pocket the six in the long corner. Well, he just took the short side. And he's like a real straight shooter. He just shoots straight. All he wants to make sure is that he can hit the ball. He's not too interested. It doesn't seem like him getting close to the ball itself. So now he just jumped right up off that ball there, Phil. It's 
just see this this ball is hit real solid. Now Medina throughout this tournament, Jack, has exhibited pretty much one single shot, and that's go after the ball. Yeah, I had my on him. Yeah, he just shoots straight and he just and yeah. he just shoots to play and he shoots to win. Does not seem to have a, uh, I suppose, what one would refer to as a finesse shot. No, he's basically he's just a straight shooting nine ball player. He's, his technique and I guess just because he's a, basically a young player, young at the sport, he just he just wants to be able to shoot and hit the ball. Mike's played safe here. 